My friends, those of you guys that have been watching for a while might recognize this. This is one of my favorite abandoned building locations in Detroit. I'm visiting Michigan just for a couple of days, but you know I had to come to the Bando, get some flying in. Homie Chris is here, We're gonna have a good little session. We're just kind of like, trying to dodge the rain, keeps coming in and out. It's gonna pass, it'll pass. So not only do I get to fly one of the best Detroit Bandos, but I'm going to fly the DJI Digital HD FPV system, put it to the concrete Bando test, inevitably probably put it to a bit of a concrete crash test. I'm excited, and I have put it into a CL1 frame. So this is going to be a lot more similar to what I fly on a regular basis. In the past, the drone we had been flying it on, it was this little race frame. It was not what I was used to. I never really got it flying all that well. There was a horrible, not only props in view, but motors in view. So now with this, it's actually, to be honest, it's still not flying great, but it's flying a lot better. Uh, we've got not the motors in view, we still have a little bit of props in view. I did have to do some weird stuff to get it to fit in here. I mounted it in the center and put the flight controller in the rear. I think that was pretty clever. Probably got it together, ready to rip it. And of course, I'm also gonna be flying my normal Skyliner setup, analog video with you know my rapid fire and all that stuff. So we'll do a little bit of a, little bit of a comparison. So let's get ready to do this thing. First off, we've got my normal quad running what I would call a premium analog system. We've got a Tramp video transmitter turned up all the way, rapid fire receiver, got my patch antenna, doing the things. Oh, how I missed this spot, it's so freaking good. Can we get this first try? Nope. <laughs> Chicken out. Come on. Give it to me. There it is. <laughs> the best part is it's open again. Last time I was here, this building was totally boarded up. And now I've got some openings again so I can fly in here. Oh, the video is sketchy. I'm not well positioned. I'm facing the wrong way. Up, 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 yep. I, shoot. Alright, I'm back at my original setup point because the other area I want to fly in is I want to fly into the main building. In the past I've always been able to like, you know, like fly into like the first room. That sort of thing. But I wanna see. You know, if I go in a little bit deeper, what's the situation? Come on, patch antenna, do your thing. Where's the good old shaft dive? Where is that again? Oh, there it is. How out of practice are we on this sort of stuff? Oh god. Oh! <laughs> Been a while since I've done that. So, oh, we, we broke an arm. We can fix that, but for now we'll just switch to the other quad. If they would stop with the rain, can we get them? <laughs> In HD, going down the tunnel, looking good. Ooh, I forgot to go in here on analog. I know I can go in, I've flowed this spot before. I'm not gonna go for the tight power loop gap here. Nope, 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 all right. What I wanna know is now that I'm back in the same spot where I was standing when I was not able to fly the building behind us, can I do it? So far so good. I think it was back here that I couldn't. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's hanging in there. Oh, that's so sick. 
It's so sick. Ah, it's so sick. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of like frame droppage or something. Definitely low signal quality, but I did do it. Ah, I can just fly the whole place. Hey, where's that tire? Come here. Come here. Boop. <laughs> Now, what was the other questionable areas back here? Yep, we're, ooh, yeah, it stalled for a second there. We're dropping frames again, but, I mean, I'm still seeing HD. That's just crazy, dude, that's just. That's that's a fail safe. That's not good. All right, we gotta try and get it back. I'm gonna walk for it. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. But at the same time, I flew in that whole building with no problem. Good link. Good video. Like really, really good video. Flew all sorts of stuff. Did the stairs once. Went to do it again, and then fail safe randomly. So I don't know. I mean, I don't want to immediately start making excuses. But the antennas being this close to the carbon definitely isn't good. Uh, they are just zip tied to the standoff, so they are not in their optimal position. I will definitely put an effort into getting the antennas further away from the carbon because that's only gonna help. I'm still very impressed with the system. We're gonna fly some more. Just enjoy, enjoy the rippage. Goodbye. Goodbye, Seth. Last one at the spot. Man, that great session. Just, oh, it's so good to be back here. I love these spots. We, we just straight up don't have spots this good in Florida. And it is, it's just a blast to be back. Feel like I'm back in my element. Feeling like I still got it. 
I did the shaft dive, took me a couple tries, but I did get it. Um, it's fun, man. I've got a couple more days here. Hopefully, I'll be able to find some more time to fly some more Bando spots. It was really cool to get to try the next generation of technology here, you know, do the HD FPV thing. It was really fun. Hope you guys are enjoying being back in Detroit with me. I appreciate you guys hanging out. And we'll either see you again soon for another Detroit video or back in Florida. So whatever it is, I'll see you there.